Okay, welcome. In order to keep this tutorial under three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and play a song in the background. So if you hear a little bit of music, that's what it is. It's just kind of my timer to make sure that I'm moving really quickly in this tutorial. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, begin. All right, so found this great website, and I thought this would be great for enrichment. It is called Glitter Boo. Um, there's two accounts, a uh, free one and a paid one. Let's stick with the free one. It's going to limit what we can do, but it's still pretty cool, pretty cool effects. All right, so really simple. Here's what we're going to do. You click here to get started. You go find your picture. They said ones that have like uh, lights in the background tend to work better. I'm going to choose this one here of uh, Mr. O'Kane, myself. Well, we went to a Atlanta Braves game down in Atlanta. There's the picture. And basically, I'm going to use this brush to go ahead and put on different kinds of uh, effects. So I'm going to take the brush and kind of blob it here. And you can change the size. And I can also change the effects. So there's a star sparkle, small, and kind of put them all around here. Uh, you can change how strong they glow. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more. Maybe change the size a little bit there. Um, sparkles, let's change that to stars. And just key into, you can just put whatever you want on here. Really strong. Straight star. Let's see what else we have here. Um, let's try a snowflake. It was really, it was a pretty nice day when we went, or nice night when we went to the game, but we'll throw in a snowflake just to kind of see what it looks like. And we'll increase the intensity. And you can see they actually have seven different snowflakes. This is two out of seven. So we'll put one right on his shoulder. Let's go back and do some more. Um, make him, I'm going to make this one big. I'm going to make it pretty intense. It's going to have a glow effect. I'm going to put it right behind our shoulders just so we can see those, what it turns out when it's done. I'm also going to have you do a mixed rotation, the luminous effect, basically kind of alternate and rotate them. And now I'm going to go ahead and set the crop area. This is the thing, the difference between a paid one versus a free one. So there it is. So it's going to get our faces, maybe a little bit of our shirt. And I'm going to download it. And here I have a choice. I can either just download the picture and upload the picture or use the HTML code. Since this is an enrichment activity, I'm going to go ahead and click HTML code. In the meantime, while it's uh, loading that, I'm going to go here and just remind you what we did is I have a, we have a page created called Sandbox. And in our Sandbox, if you go to the design and we want to go to HTML CSS, it opened this, and if you watch the other video, the other enrichment video, you can see there's our enrichment activities up here. And I'm going to go ahead and add this picture of Mr. O'Kane and I right below it. So remember in the first one, we kind of talked about how it's open and closed. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. Uh, again, one of the things I want to tell you, if you put, I can put 100 spaces here. It won't necessarily space out my pictures anymore because um, it's just code. So I'm going to glitter boo. There it is. So I'm just going to copy that code, go back to my Weebly, paste it, and you can see. So I should have two pictures. And if I scroll down, there we go. So you can see there's a one I practiced with earlier. And then the second one, and if I go save, publish, go ahead and go to the live link. And go down to my sandbox, and there you go. You can kind of see there's my glitter brew picture, or its picture has been glitterified, or whatever. It's um, and again, all we had to do is go into Weebly, design, click on the HTML slash CSS, and then just add it after the enrichment activity one because it was closed. That backslash div inside those carrots and I put it right on top of the content so that way it would be up near the top. So I know I went through it kind of fast. I know I didn't make my three minute target but I hope this helps and I hope you enjoy using Glitterboo on your Weebly website.